I have been so busy. And I have been so negligent of this, my wonderful little channel. But I have blogged a few times, so if you've not seen those C++ blogs, go and check it out at megalomaniacboar.blogspot.com. In the meantime, I've got so much to review. This being the first thing for today. So this is the cheapest steering wheel you could buy on Amazon. And I've bought it. As you can see, it says purchased 1st of July. We're now the 6th, so this is immediately hot off the press. The question being, why did I buy it? Well, I have that to review from the Amazon Vine Customer Review Program. So this will be a two-part review. The first thing being that uh, steering wheel, and I'm going to get the track IR down eventually, which is just up there. Uh, I was literally just checking where it was. It is right there. So the track IR and a steering wheel. But first of all, uh, this review will be with keyboard and mouse. However, I can't resist a piece of kit. And the weirdest thing is that everybody on Amazon says this is a lot smaller than they expect. So we're going to take a look. Um, what I'll do is I will just open this up and try and show it you on camera. So um, it comes in quite a nice box. So this is gift worthy. It's not that heavy. Uh, 13 buttons, vibration, 100 degree rotation either way. It says uh, from center 100 either way. Um, not a lot, but we'll see. I've seen them go all the way around, but this is not like that. So it says here, high octane gaming, steering wheel for PC, PlayStation 2 and 3. Uh, separate module with gas and brake pedals. Uh, 13 buttons, direction trigger, the digital paddle shifters, vibration technology, vibration force. 180 degree wheel rotation. That's interesting then. So that says 100, 100, which is which is 200. And then here, it says 180 degree. So is it going from there all the way around to there? Or is it going 100 off center and 100 off center the other way? There's a difference. There is a, a, a bit of a difference between that. So straight away, the box is contradicting itself. Uh, not surprising for a 30 pound item, but we'll see. Uh, multiple game console interface. PS2, PS3, USB, uh, USB PC uh, supports Windows XP, Vista, 7, 8, 8.1, and 10, 32 and 64 bit compatible. And then it says it all in the other languages. So we've got Czech, Polish, uh, Slovakian, I believe, German, Russian. So this is a European style item. Uh, so this is a WX300 Esperanza Gaming for Professionals High Octane Gaming Wheel. And I'm going to try and open it. There we go. So I'm in. So it came in a really large box from Amazon. It came in a couple of days on free delivery. And I can see it. So we've got a little tiny driver CD and a booklet, which I won't be using. I'm hoping it will pick up its drivers. And so inside the box, it's literally like that right now. So I'm just going to look which one's on top of which. OK, so here's the pedals. And they obviously connect to the... These do not connect independently, so they are on a little uh, four-wire connection. Obviously, that goes into the base unit. Initial thoughts are, ran into bad. They've got a spring to them. Um, it is all plastic. Um, they are hollow in here, so put a finger right in there. They're hollow, so it's not a solid chunk like you might think from that angle. It, it, obviously, it's going to have um, some you know, fragility. It's plastic. Uh, this is a rubber stopper. Can you just see them there? Just, just, and they fit into a groove there. So you cannot you can bottom them out. I guess if you're in really high speed stuff, there's issues. The label's coming off. I'll put it back on. But they are not very far apart. And I have size 12 UK feet. So that will be interesting for me. Um, but I'm just a giant man child. So uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'll, I'll just put those to one side a second. So here's the wheel. Now, everybody I have seen review it say, not as big as they thought. As you can tell by how close the box is to me, like that close, I haven't got a lot of space in here. Uh, this is, uh, I can literally just about touch both walls if I reach out. So it's not a huge office room. This is just a small office bedroom. It's longer lengthways, but depth-wise, it's only for a single bed. And it's, it's just, you know, a small room. So I don't want a huge setup. So here's the wheel. Okay, first look at you guys. Um, okay, here's immediately just here is the connection for the wheels. 
Uh, that goes to USB and that's the PlayStation 2 connector, uh, or PlayStation connection. So it's a USB pass-through for that. Now that's going to put a bit of weight on a USB uh, port, definitely. Okay, it's two halves of plastic. It is all plastic. Uh, the suckers, this looks different to the picture I saw online. Let's try and just look at the picture. Yeah, you can't really see, but there's a picture somewhere in one of the reviews that has this as square. This looks square. This is not square. It looks as it does there, like a, an oblongy shape. It's, it's this shape. Um, so if I push my keyboard back, that's not too bad. I can, I can, okay, so we'll just move the camera. I do apologize for this being rough and ready. Uh, here's some of the other stuff that's out for review. But the important bit is this camera. This, this. Uh, so uh, I'm sitting in a chair. Uh, I have my elbows on uh, the office chair legs, and I can see all of my 2K screen in front of me. Um, so we've got, um, you know, it's fairly stable. That is actually quite stable. That's the mat. That is stuck to the table. So this is an IKEA, very cheap. I think they're 20 pounds, these tabletops, these IKEA tabletops, and I go through them like once a year because I just wear them out, like I'm wearing this one out. So this is a gnarled vinyl or plasticky covered top, and it's stuck straight down to it. It's stuck to it without me pressing on it. I haven't pushed on this at all. I plonked it down, and that's, that's you know, that's going to move my whole table. My whole table is moving, not the wheel. So I'm quite impressed with that. Now, uh, if I pull down, it goes, it goes around 100 degrees that way. And it goes around 100 degrees that way. So it's not 180. So it's not straight 90 plus 90 at all. It goes a bit further than 90 both ways. The one thing I'll say is that it's not it's not pivoted here. This this point here is not centre here. So so that is higher. That point there is higher than that point there. So as I rotate this, it's swinging through a, a crescent. That's a bit off-putting, that the centre of the wheel is pushing through a crescent shape. Okay, but we'll turn it around. And what buttons have we got? Well, we've got PlayStation buttons here, the, the roughly the shapes, but not the official shapes. Uh, we've got a direction hat here, which I'll look at. We've got two buttons there, two trigger buttons. And we've got the L buttons around the centre, which we'll look at. And that appears to be, again, look, the label. Can we see this? Can I turn this around a right angle? Uh, where's the right angle for you guys? There, there you go. So you see the label is peeled up. So push it down. That's not a bad looking little label, so I could take it off, but um, it's just whatever. And construction wise, it says CE, so it's meant to be certified in some way. You've got, uh, again, it's plastic, but it's hard plastic. A whole crescent set of screws, and they all look like proper screws, they don't look bad at all. This looks like nice screws here, and there are two holding the wheel to the shaft. Oh, and I forgot to point out that there's these, but you may have saw those while I was playing. So there's two paddle shifters. Um, yeah, I'm, for thirty pounds, for thirty pounds, I'm quite impressed. Feel-wise, and this is again, this is the hard plastic, but this is like a rubberized red, and it auto centers. Okay, so we've got on the. Uh, just right. yeah you can hear it's cheap if I was I don't know that's not how I play a racer I play a racer like that I'm obviously going to be playing trucks so we'll, we'll see where we get to I will now attempt to unravel this I hope I don't need a, something else to get the plastic off there's the plastic off for recycling. We will undo this and then I'll get the pedals down. Now, I actually have a footrest, so I will disappear off camera. Nothing like great planning one of my videos, is there? Uh, and this is nothing like planned. So, you know, people were saying as well it's smaller than they thought. I'm not too bothered about the size, to be honest. I'm, I'm all right with it. You know, I'm a big boy and it doesn't, it means it's small, but it's small enough to fit correctly in the room for me. And can I get this open? There we go. It's one for recycling. 
I actually keep these because they're useful with the uh, the metal in them, so they don't go for recycling. So if you do throw them away, you should recycle them too. Uh, oh, the bottom says three and one vibration steering wheel. So um, I'm going to put that down there. And I'm going to put my feet in it. Now, actually, this will be the worst bit of video ever. Size 12 UK foot with dirty sock on. That's the size of the pedal. It's tiny. Okay? But it will work because I will put it on there. Yeah. I can feel both of those. I can push them down with my uh, toes. They're working right now. Now, that's a bit, that's a bit naff. That's the connection to the pedals. It's a bit, you know, it's just an old telephone. This is just a jack. It's, you know, I'm not going to moan about it. So this is now going to go into the top of the PC. Um, Windows has found it. Setting up your PS2, PS3 steering wheel. Okay, I'm just looking for it on my list of devices. And I don't see it. Hoping we're still, oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm hoping uh, if I go, it's took over from my, it's took over from my keyboard. I don't know. Set up USB game controllers. So there it is. You'll have to forgive the dogs barking. I will shout at them in a second. Uh, we'll just turn this back to me a little bit more. There we go. Hello. That's That was a Merlin engine. That's either a Spitfire or a Hurricane going to Newark today for an air display. Uh, and they often fly past here. The other day, uh, three days ago, there was a um, C-47 went over. And the weekend before, Saturday last, uh, the Lancaster went over, the uh, Battle of Britain Memorial Flight Lancaster went over at literally rooftop level. It went right across in front of this window. Beautiful. But I digress. Let's look at this information and look at the properties. So we have got, there's the, there's the steering axis. There's five and six. There's the hat. So we've got an eight point hat oh, it's quite well um, there's actually a red light come on here so I know I'm connected it's not brilliant um, I'm in direct sunlight though so you can see me but it's okay the one oh that's five and that's five so L1 and this shift are the same and R1 and that shift are the same that's L3 L Oh, that's, oh, sorry, L1, L2 are the same, L3. That's a different one. So they're shared. Uh, okay, so one, one, two, three, four are the faux PlayStation connectors. Start is 10. Home isn't any of them. Select is 9. The home is either none of them or it isn't working. Up oh, 10 came on then. The 10 is start. It's 8, 9, 10, 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. So 9, 10, 11, 12. So, yeah, there's a button there that does nothing. Hmm, okay. Pedals. Uh, that's your pedal. Back, forward. So brake, accelerate, brake, accelerate. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about right now. That is the Esperanza gaming wheel. Um, I'm going to keep the box because it will be stored in the box. Um, I'm actually quite impressed. For £30, I've got more than I thought I was going to get. The pedals feel quite nice. Um, I'm actually wear, have them on a footrest. So they're on, they're on a, they aren't flat to the floor. I think if they were flat to the floor, they'd be quite more tacky feeling. I've got them on a footrest, so then they're up like this, and then the pedals themselves are like this, so I'm pushing down almost at the angle you'd push a real pair of of, of wheels, you know, uh, pedals rather, in a car. Uh, and I am a driver, so I'm 
What am I going to say? Really? I'm a driver. Um, yeah, these are the best feeling two buttons, these two here. Uh, these do feel a little bit... Yeah. They're all right. Um, I don't think you press them much. Uh, there is actually a protective film just here. If I have my tweezers, I'd like to have a cocktail stick. There you go. There's a protective film over them. That makes them look. A, that makes them pop a little bit more. Actually, let me turn that back around so you can see. They pop a little bit more now. They look a bit cleaner. Look a bit nicer. Uh, so it says QC pass on the one. Don't know about the uh, engineering or the uh, quality. Don't know how long they'll last. If they last me a season of reviewing the truck game, that will be good. Um, but I'm quite happy with this right now. Um, I will let you know by addition if there's anything else to know about these. Uh, there is a click at center. Um, just looking at the dead zone. So you can see you can see that icon as I try and move it there. So there's a it's like um there's clearly some sort of uh, resistance point you can feel it but almost immediately that you're off that you're going through to the extremes and they are quite good uh, there's no z axis or z rotation on them but i don't expect that uh, i'm quite impressed and i will leave this review this brief part of the review here i will install uh, euro truck and we'll go for part two in euro truck